Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today our topic of discussion is about Kerala model, how they are fi- uh, fighting COVID-19, right? Kerala is somewhere coming successful while fighting COVID-19. We'll discuss in detail. For my video updates and queries, you can connect with me on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a difference. Now see how this topic is important from your examination point of view. Uh, the question could be asked that is what are the factors that helped Kerala deal with COVID-19 successfully compared to the rest of the country. So see if you want to conclude just give some points. So the secrets of success being firstly they were ready to deal with any kind of problem. They were already ready and their experience, their experience from Nipah virus, their experience from West Nile fever, their experience from flood management, right? Plus there is close collaboration between 300 thousand volunteers which is usually not the case with other states and countries plus the struggle there is no struggle between their government and the municipal authorities and the village authorities so these are some of the secret mixtures for their success before going forward let me tell you about our UPSC IS pre-mains course that has been launched on our app as a smart course you can download the application of study IQ from Google Play Store and the EMI is also available now see the first few factors, some figures, uh, not figures, but the facts. See, the COVID curve in Kerala is flattening. That is one thing. Then every day or every week, what we are getting, the people are recovering very fast. And the recovery rate in Kerala is near about 50%, while the all India average is around 11 And the transmission rate of primary carrier is 6 while in Kerala it is only 0.4 so let me show you some of the status now we'll come to figures of Kerala so you can just see here where is Kerala here so confirmed cases are around 437 then active cases are just 127 and look at the people who are recovered around 308 and there are only two deaths in Kerala so you can see there are amazing facts this shows that Kerala is actually doing very good in this case. Now see the first three cases of COVID-19 in India, they were reported in Kerala and were, there were three students who returned from Wuhan. And since then the state was highly on alert. But the flow of patients also increased because in middle of February what happened, a family has returned to Kerala from Italy. And since then, the Keralites who returned from Gulf countries in the Europe were the main transporters of this viral disease. Now from the root map to web application, how they improved their model? So this is very important question. So they developed what? There was a root map like Kerala they have prior experience of Nipah virus which acts within a systematic way they know how to act once a disease is identified in a person it starts from preparing the root map of the patients to something called their web applications so this preparation was in detail and in systematic way every nook and corner where the patient has traveled they they were identified and all the persons they met or casually happened to be there they were identified with the help of the government health workers and the police department and then this was published to all the concerned people and their privacy was also maintained plus as i told you they have a web app so what is the function of their web application this kind of identification isolation and hospital hospitalization they connected with their web application so this app connects all those who are involved in fighting against covid-19 from a doctor to an ambulance driver so doctor can identify where icu ventilators are free or the driver can understand on real time where the isolation bed is free in the nearest place so here what i'm telling you uh, this is about their web application that they launched plus they started working on conversion of train wagons in hotels hostel resorts houseboats everything they had to isolation beds so the construction of hospitals in india in 10 days is not possible moreover the population size also is very relevant in case of an outbreak beyond and if this outbreak is like beyond control then it even goes out of control from the government hands also 
if you see the density population in kerala is very high that is around 860 persons per square kilometer so to fight against the non adequacy of the available hospital beds the government what they did they immediately thought of converting unutilized train wagons into isolation rooms it had been already implemented to a quite good number beds then the student their hostels of each district and provinces they were identified and controlled by the local health inspectors and calculated the total capacity of convertible isolation beds there then your hotels and resorts near to the hospitals they are also being identified for the same purpose though currently only government hospitals are being used for covid assistance but kerala catholic a conference they since the very outbreak of the disease they have offered all the hospitals run by catholic management for the eventual hospitalization of the patients now another question is how possible is the coordination of volunteers because i told you what is the usp of kerala model one of the thing that they are allowing their volunteers to help then how it is possible the co coordination of volunteers in district headquarters or local government offices see if there is bureaucracy that may prevent access of volunteers for the assistance to the public sector in different countries kerala government has always proved that it is possible and indeed their services are a precious as that of any health expert assistant so during past two flood uh, episodes also there were volunteers right so the whole group they are enforced in five different kind of activities and they are coordinated by self uh, local self governments and by the district headquarters so these volunteers are the driving force of community kitchens also they are running community kitchens and they distribute these meals to the aged person to those who are real in need during the lockdown period next thing what they did was very important and different from other states was stay where you are so a big hurdle to overcome is the migrant workers from north india who are present in the state territory as soon as the prime minister announced a country wide lockdown on 24th march thousands and thousands of migrant laborers they were stranded away in different cities of india so what happened what we saw in news the migrant laborers were being forced to leave the different cities in north india but kerala government took proactive steps to ensure the welfare of them so in kerala very cautiously these migrant people from west bengal bihar orissa they are called guest workers so they are not uh, you know uh, just uh, called from their native places names they are called guest workers their dignity is maintained so that dignity is granted to them through different groups among these workers they protested they wanted to go they wanted they asked the government how will how will they survive in the state but then state provided them with everything until the train convenience was uh, resumed arranged they were uh, they were provided with the food and accommodation so this i would say is the best step they took in the, for the cause of humanity also and to fight covid 19 also so in the end i would say that kerala model is actually a model to other states in a way of execution plan against the outbreak and the public health care system of kerala from primary health care centers in the local government to the hospitals and medical colleges every one of them they followed the same protocol to offer the support for creating awareness prevention and cure against covid 19. let me tell you kerala has the highest migrant flow from india kerala migrants are mostly employed in the gulf countries then united states europe canada australia etc so you need to acknowledge the remittance to kerala which stands as one of the main pillars of financial growth of the state so as the whole world is locked down a good number of keralaites are held up in different countries so kerala state government is insisting central government right now to bring back all keralaites who wish to return to the home state and health sector is already much advanced and now they are prepared to even uh, you know this that even if these migrant people not migrant they are people who are living outside india they come back they are ready to manage them also all will be kept in quarantine for 14 days either at their own house or at public health care centers so in the end i would say it is too early to declare kerala as a success story still there are many lessons to be learned from rest of the country in its fight that 
lessons we need to learn from Kerala for our fight against COVID-19. So the statement I really like, a political system does not create a society, it's the character of people that enables political system. So definitely people of Kerala are also contributing to this fight along with the frontline fighters. So this is all about today's lecture. If you have any qu queries, you can connect with me on social media or you can just uh, find the PDF from my telegram. That is t.me oblique veronica underscore om or you can just search veronica study iq thank you